Okay, so we're going to look at static electricity with this. This is just plain tape. I'm going to take a piece. This is how you make uh, charged tapes. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece, and you can just tear this stuff like that. And I'm going to fold a tab over it so I can pick it up, and I'm going to put it on the table. Now, I'm going to write let's say L on here. So I know it's the bottom tape or the lower tape and not the top tape. And you can't really see it. Can you see that okay? Let's see. Should I bend down and zoom in? There's my tape. Okay, so now I'm going to take another piece. Same length, approximately. It's really easy to do. You don't have to worry about being exact here. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to place it exactly on top of my other tape. Now I'm going to write T for top tape, since I can tell them apart. Now I'm going to pull the two tapes up together. So now I have two tapes attached to each other. And I'm going to kind of smooth them out with my fingers. Nice tape. That's a nice tape. Okay. Now, here's the fun part. I'm going to take the two handles. I'm going to pull them apart very fast. And you'll notice they attract. So these are electrically charged. So let's, let's do something fun. I'm going to put one of them right here. One right there. Okay, so let's zoom out so you can see. I got the two tapes hanging up. Okay. And you have to be fair that you don't want them to touch. No touching. Okay, let's make another one real quick. I should have done this beforehand. Uh, this is going to be super quick. Super quick tapes. See how quick I can do it. L. Oh, I messed that one up. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, there. Oh, that's a terrible job. Okay, two more. Smooth them out. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep the top tape. Okay, here we go. You ready? That one's thrown away. So that's the top tape. And watch what happens when I bring it next to that other top tape. Check that out. No touching. Okay. What happens when I bring it next to that top tape? It repels. Check that out. And it attracts that other one. So these two tapes, the two tops are charged the same way, and they're the opposite charge of that bottom tape, that lower tape. See, it's still attracted to that one. Wait. Look at this. If I bring my finger in, it attracts. If I bring my finger to the lower tape, too, it attracts. So. Uh, neutral objects attract both positive and negative. But now, the question is which one of these is positive and which one's negative? That just jumped on there. Okay. It turns out I can charge other things. So here is a piece of styrofoam and a plastic cup. And if I rub them together, then they become charged. And the styrofoam becomes negative charge. I can look that up. Let's just rub these together. And you'd be surprised. I always looked, used wool and glass and stuff like that, but these do a great job. You can hear it squeaking. That's good. Okay, so I'll know this is charged if it repels one and attracts the other one. So I'm going to bring it near the, the top tape. Looks like it attracts. Oh, no, it repels them. That's the lower tape must be. Okay, so it's attracting the lower and repelling the top. Okay, so that means that this lower one is positive, and the top one is negative. Now, I know it's not just neutral because it repels one of them. Now, I can take this to see what this does. I think this one's just uncharged. I think this one, I'm going to throw away. It's stuck on my hand. Attracts, repels. So that one does, this one repels and attracts. See? So these are obviously charged. Okay, one more thing. Let's zoom down here. And I have some 
some pieces of paper that tore up. You see that? Okay, now I'm going to re-rub this just to make sure it works well. This is always fun. Okay, now I'm going to bring the styrofoam next to the paper. See how close I can get it? Look at that. Picks it up. It picks it up, but then it drops it. Now watch this one. Picks it up and drops. Picks it up and drops. So what happens is that this is neutral. This is charged. This induces a charge difference in the material such that it gets attracted. But once it's attracted and it touches, then this paper acquires the same charge as a cup and then it repels. Okay, so there's just some very basic electric charge experiments you can do at home.